This is a product deliberately targeted at our kids, being sold alongside lollies and chocolate bars. Vaping has now become the number one behavioural issue in high schools, and it's becoming widespread in primary schools as well. Young vapors are three times as likely to take up smoking. So it is no wonder that under 25s are the only cohort in our population that are seeing smoking rates actually increase. Well, yeah, I think it's a, it's a good decision to ban it. Um, I have a lot of friends who vape. Um, I don't think it's good for their health, so and I've seen a lot of people uh, having lung issues because of vaping too much, so I think it's a, it's a good decision. Email exchanges from inside the BBC, they talk about the risk of violating Indian laws. It's easier to rake up the freedom of speech debate, but does it give anyone a free pass to knowingly violate the law? America supports India because it needs India's support in return. And India is working with the US because it suits India's interests. This is how geopolitics works. Last night, he diffused a crisis with his defence minister. But today, Netanyahu was confronted with a new problem. His cabinet seems to have rebelled against him. The UK is looking at the Indian subcontinent to fill its coffers. That India seems to be negotiating from a position of power, like a partner and not a former colonist.